Hello everyone, welcome to EC QuickBooks Training. In today's video, we're going to go over how to record a cash deposit or cash payment when there is no deposit in the bank account. So let's get started. This client records his payments and I have to record the deposit in his bank account. He did receive a cash payment, um, but he is actually keeping that cash payment and will not be deposited into the bank account. So I'm going to show you how to do that. What I do first is I need to select that cash payment. If I don't select it, and just ignore it and leave it in undeposited funds, it will be here forever. So we have to do something with this, with this payment. This is set so all payments go into undeposited funds and then I reconcile against the bank deposit. But in this case, like I said, he's going to keep the $100 and I have to record this and I wanna clear this out from undeposited funds. So I have selected it along with the other checks for that day. And then what I do is I go all the way down to the bottom and here where it says cash back goes to, I select, I put a hundred dollars because it's going back to owner's draw and you can use this or he's keeping the cash to himself and you can use this with other accounts like you can have it go to um any other account maybe if you have a savings account that you put the money into um so you could do it to any bank or you could do it to any asset although you would have to reconcile that asset or of course into an equity and in this case um, i have it going to owner's draw which then again subtracts from um, the total of, of checks that I have, including the cash, and it gives me the total that will be deposited into the bank account. So that is how you record a cash deposit when uh, you're not really going to deposit the cash into the bank account. I hope that you find this helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more how-tos, tips and tricks, and troubleshooting for QuickBooks. I will see you in the next one.